So hi guys and welcome back. Today we have a very very special frame here and which is not only a frame, it's a frame kit. You can see all the stuff it comes with and this is the Diatone Innovations Tyrant 180 carbon fiber frame from by Diatone Innovations. You all know them very much. They have been a new company uh, but really progressing very very fast in this area coming out with very nice frames I first uh, knew them from the PDPs which they did for the set them out to 50 frames awesome stuff and they rapidly really rapidly bring out new frames and this is their latest one the Tyrant 180 and it's a really really nice frame so they have learned a lot from what they do as you can see this is really nice Nicely packaged, so there are zip ties holding everything together here. And the first thing which you can really see so, yes, this is a 180 size frame. And look at these massive arms. So, we will take a look at there within a second. Basically, what you have here is the bottom plate. Uh, the top plate and the camera mount which you can see here what else do we have here we all know them these are these really nice motor mount mount uh, motor protectors which double act as landing gear which we have here we already reviewed them on our channel before so let's get them out here you can also see everything is nicely packaged and you know already what belongs together here so this is a really nice thing so we got them out here these are all the cables which we need for connecting everything i will show it to you in a second here they even provide props propellers so two types of propellers here once we have here the 4.45 ones, all diatone propellers, so this is their own line of propellers, which looks really nice and really stiff. And on the other side, these are 4.25 ones, 4 times 2.5 propellers, which are for the a bit more relaxed flying I would say really nice sets of propellers which they provide here they also provide you with a camera mount you all know this camera mount it's very very nice I already had a review of this before again very nicely packaged then here comes all the hardware which you need all the screws uh, of course the standoffs which you need for putting together this frame they even include a screwdriver which we will try out we will try to use this here are some more cables which you need for the cabling but the really nice thing is and this is why I also mentioned the PDP for the setup out of 50 in the beginning this also comes with an integrated PDP which is which is really really nice so you can see this integrated PDP here uh, we will take a close look at this in a second but basically this goes in here and makes for a very nice and compact solution so let's put this apart let's take this apart and take a look at the parts which we have here there they go and you can already see this looks really nice so let's also take this one out you can see this is all pure carbon fiber which we see here massive carbon fiber let's take a look at the thickness of this here and you can see this is massive that's over four millimeters this bottom plate so this will not break easily and even at this part uh, where uh, the even at this part uh, where the PDP comes in it's really sick still so this is this is really really nice so let's take a look at how this goes together uh, we have this carbon fiber bottom frame here which is of course true carbon fiber I did the test and of course carbon fiber is conductive so you have to take care with these boards here so with these PDP boards where you have voltage you can't just put this in here directly but rather than that you will uh, use this layer here which makes sure that the bottom of this uh, PDP 
is not touching any carbon because well there are some things here as you can see for the for the buzzer here where there is some voltage and this cannot connect the carbon which is why we have this plate here which is non-conductive so this goes in like that you can see it and then you basically have everything which you need for cabling uh, your uh, quadcopter so let's take a close look at this PDP here what we have here so basically here in front you have everything for your camera let's put this around you have everything for your camera so you see audio video ground and plus 5 volts you can connect this here with the cables which I showed you before so this uh, is, is provided here for your camera and of course here we have some more connectors where you can have uh, 12 volts or 5 volts so 12 volts or 5 volts of power additionally but usually if you use this connector you won't need this you can also see this PDP has LEDs here and for these LEDs there is actually a switch here which you can see here for uh, turning them on, or them on and off so this is also integrated this is a highly integrated PDP we have here on the sides the connectors for the ESCs one two uh, uh, three and four this is nicely laid out so you can connect everything uh, plus minus signal and of course we have the PDPs here which generate 5 volts and 12 volts which we have several pads here where you can actually get this voltage and then we have here two large uh, solder pads for connecting your battery connector what else do we see here we have a V pad out so this is for uh, sensing the voltage of your flight battery you will connect this directly to the NACE and of course in the back here we have the connectors for the video transmitter again uh, video transmitter so the, the video out ground uh, video and audio sorry the voltage ground uh, video and audio for your video transmitter Another nice feature here is the PVM connector where you can directly connect your receiver which is then again connected to the uh, uh, signal parts of the uh, uh, ESCs here of course like you know from these uh, kind of uh, PDPs and we have a buzzer also integrated here which is also a really nice feature and which can be connected here uh, through this connector plus minus basically so you can uh, directly connect this to a NACE style uh, uh, flight controller so this is a really nice PDP let's take a look at its weight and we can see this comes in at about 20 grams which is actually not too bad for having integrated 12 volts 5 volts uh, VTX connection, camera connection, buzzer, LEDs and so on. So this is a really nice and integrated thing which makes it very tidy to build this up. So let's take a look at, at the bottom plate here. This is really a massive bottom plate which comes in at 69 grams. Let's put the PDP on top and we are at uh, 89 grams. Then we have here this top plate 1 99 grams top plate 2 and we are at 100 grams and of course you can also <laughs> again put the, all these accessories here but we don't do this today so next step of course like always is to quickly put this together the bare frame so that you can see what this actually looks like
Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly put it together loosely for you, and it's really, really nice. So you can really see this is a very low profile here in the back. Here on top, of course, comes your, your battery, your LiPo. Here in the back, there is this, a spacer for your, so for your uh, antenna, for your uh, FPV antenna. And I will probably, uh, I would probably, yeah, behind here, Below that, you can nicely mount your video transmitter. So this would probably work best with the style of transmitter, which has the SMA plug to the bottom, to the top. Uh, some of the Quanum ones have that, which I reviewed in one of my uh, earlier videos. You know, and here we have a really low profile, so this is just right for mounting a NACE or uh, another flight controller. This is great. And here you can actually use the switch on this side to turn on and off the LEDs nicely. And the switch is still nicely protected by the carbon. You can see it here. So everything comes together really nicely. Really nice low profile frame because when you have your LiPo here, this is all in all a really low profile frame, which is, which is kind of great. And of course, this massive arms with these motor protectors which go on here and are screwed in. These provide great protection for your motors, which is also a great thing. And all in all, I, I, something really nice I have to say is this whole frame kit, as it is here, comes at only 50 USD. At only 50 bucks, this is really, really cheap for what this offers. I really have to say that uh, LEDs, everything integrated in the BDP, massive carbon fiber arms, a really nice and modern low profile design. This is, this is really nice. So let's take a look at the weight of this. As it is here now for this 180 size frame. And we can see this comes in at 115 grams. Uh, we can see this comes in at 115, 116 grams, which is uh, basically a nice weight. Oh, well, a bit heavier, but uh, not too heavy, and especially not too heavy given these massive arms. Let's do a comparison here with my, what do I have here for 180 frames? Yeah, of course, I have here my, my Satam R180, which you can see here, and well, Let's put it on top of that. You can see, yes, they are about the same size. And both are great frames, of course. And you can also see, I will just focus this for you. You can see it them side by side. The Diatone Tyrant 180 and the Satam R180, both great frames. You can also see the bottom size is very similar. The tilt of the arms here in the back of the tyrant is a bit different. The bottom plate of the tyrant is more massive, so these are more than four millimeters. And of course, the tyrant has actually a lower profile. You can see this here very nicely. So this is really not a bad thing which the Diaton did here and of course I'm making jokes here this is actually a great thing but well, this is a great frame I really like it I'm really looking forward to build this up especially this PDP will help a lot to make mounting everything nice and clean they even thought of these uh, uh, holders here to mount your ESCs nicely so it seems they thought about everything and which is a great thing. So I'm really looking forward to build this up. This should be a really, really nice frame, low profile, very small, really nice. Looking forward to it. If you also look for, if, <laughs> if you are also looking forward to me building this up, if you like this video, if you enjoyed this video, well, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'm really looking forward to see you next time.